listen, this video is for educational purposes, topic purposes, discussion purposes, entertainment purposes. This video is in response to Rainy. Listen, listen. And listen, 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 listen. I'm like, wow, YouTube is serious. Better leave me alone, you old head. Anyway. Positives. And because I can, I can hold my head held high, regardless of what society says about me. I'm still a cold motherfucker, dark skin, features, whatever the fuck you want to say, bitch, big, fat, back, shoulders, whatever you want to talk about, I still hold my head up. And you mad. You big mad. Oh, Rainy, you're big mad. My only issue was you calling me a monkey, being everything you just described. You call me a monkey, you're big mad. The fuck? Look at you. Look at you. Use black. Use ugly. But absolutely, you here. Use here because you tapped into your energy. You don't even have the cur. You don't even have the the common sense of decency to put yourself under a different light on your own description, bitch. You put yourself oh, at bitch, the bottom because I ain't out here to tell no lies or perpetrate. Or make myself look better or above any fucking one else out here. No, you put me at the bottom because you want another black bitch to be out here just like you. You put yourself at the bottom and then you want to come talk about me because I'm choosing to see life in a different way. Bitch, you look through the lenses of death. You the type of hoes that I be talking about. You look through the lenses of death. I'm looking through the lenses of death. Looking at you on YouTube? Oh, Queen Regina, do say with your death channel. I'm looking at you looking through the lens of death at a death channel. You don't make no fucking sense, but continue, continue. Let us hear you. Let us hear you, Rainy. All your projections and assumptions. Ain't no life in you. Ain't no motherfucking life in you. You wanted it so you can make all the motherfucking videos you want to make about me, No bitch. permission was required, but thank I you. one motherfucking thing. It's about time your old ass step your damn game up. Stop blaming society because you ain't shit. The selfishness of society. Listen, and I'm going to absolutely... Stand ten toes down on that. The selfishness of society. Wait a minute, listen. Y'all don't think we're selfish when it comes to our elderly at all? Y'all don't think we're selfish. Y'all believe that out of their retirement check, they should be able to do everything that we do but wait a minute, we could go out here and pop babies out and decide not to do nothing and the government is going to assist us. They went to work, they contributed to, this, they contributed to society, whether they own their home or they don't own their home. They're struggling just to eat. They can't get food stamps because they worked, so they have an income and they're just one person. It's right here on YouTube. It's all right here on YouTube. And I talk about it. Well, I have talked about it when, you know, the situation arose. We fucking selfish. What about them babies in them schools? Why are we not united as one when it comes to the protection and the security of our babies at them schools. The courts have more protect, like listen, we're fucking selfish. That's my opinion, I'm gonna stand on it. 
There's a lot of more things I can talk about. Shit also. like that. Who thinks like that? What black woman that wants to speak highly of herself even says those type of things? The selfishness of society? Society is so selfish? A black woman that's not miserable. A black woman that can see shit for actually what it is. A black woman who's not who's at an age and they're not, they're not fantasizing. They're not fantasizing, having illusions of having a YouTube career. Black woman that spoke up for another black woman, and that black woman was you. When I seen you won't out here being protected by men that were out here hollering, protect black women. They were protecting two black women that didn't like you because you got in their business, they say. Them two black women were out here going at you. And them black men were protecting them. Even a black man, you were out here protecting along with them other two. But you, you got no respect. But I'm a black woman that acknowledged it. Bitch, ooh, don't. <laughs> the selfishness of society. Nobody saw your black ass. Well, maybe one or two people. But bitch, you felt mighty vi you vi victory when I came out and said, wait a minute, look what's being done to her. <laughs> Listen, uh-uh, the fucking no, the selfishness with the hypocrisy. Right after you talked about you struggling with four kids. Listen, y'all don't think that it's a struggle out here with four kids? Am I tripping? I, I, I know I'm not the only one. Four kids? Listen, shit be real. Shit be real. My kids are 22, 12, 11, and six. Seven, it's a fucking struggle. And listen, I had all of them while the oldest one was going through school. The most crucial years. When you paying for football camp. Y'all know how much sports camp costs? But a fucking weekend? We ain't even going to talk about a fucking petty ass day? The fuck? The struggle is fucking real. Y'all want to talk about the years of sports goggles? Because this motherfucker destructive. The years of glasses. <sighs> Ooh, shit is real out here. Let's talk about having two babies in daycare. Pregnant with a third. Man, what the fuck? I can't afford to put another baby in daycare. Not even with a fucking husband. But y'all know what happened when I enrolled that I was pregnant and I put one of them, I, I filled out for the, the Head Start program. You know, you got to, I don't know what state y'all live in, but you had to fill out for it and you could either get it or you could get put on a waiting list. You know, I got put on a waiting list. That shit was crucial. So I had to pay daycare. It wasn't until I got pregnant with my fourth child when they let one of my kids up in there. So, I don't know what the fuck type life y'all living out here, but shit is fucking real. I ain't gonna Most lie. selfish shit to me was seeing the bitch pull up to the daycare, go in that bitch, swipe a card with a motherfucking scarf on her head. Ooh, and guess who paying for it? The motherfucking state? That bitch getting daycare. Bitch, what? That shit, to me, that shit was selfish. It was selfish, bitch. Because you couldn't get the amount of food stamps you wanted to get. Because your friend, because your friend got three kids and she get more food stamps than you looking ass. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about, but listen. That shit right there, 
Those was my best videos. Fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> If you want to fucking piss me off, stop, what? Man, listen. I left Virginia with three babies, moved to Georgia, right? Now, all right, I had a job, but I'm thinking these bitches out here getting food stamps, getting all this shit. I'm now what you would call or what I tried to pretend to be a single mother because I kidnapped the kids and went to jail. That's a whole nother fucking story. That nigga was like, bitch, you tripping. You know you kidnapped my kids. But anyway, that's another story. But um, y'all know the motherfuckers told me, yo, the motherfuckers told me I made too much. I was over. And no, y'all, not by hundreds of, man, fuck that. That shit is selfish. The fuck y'all talking about? Oh, I ran it about that shit. Listen, I'll get, to, let me let this dumb bitch continue. Because um, I don't know how I'm I'm open over this bitch. It's open over here. The fuck she talking about? But let this bitch continue. Society is now the whole society is selfish because they cut your welfare off because you've been on welfare for the maximum amount of years. Now society is selfish. This bitch got a bottom feeder mentality. Woo! But go on, Rainy. Go on. Tell me about myself. Because they making your punk ass go out there and look for a job before they continue paying for your Section 8 looking Keep ass. Keep on projecting, Rainy. Keep on. Ain't that. Ain't that. <laughs> While you get ready to move in with your little sister. <laughs> you just need to get away. Shit ain't working out, right? <laughs> Keep projecting. But now society is so selfish. I don't know the reality of why you said society is selfish. Why don't you tell us, Risha? You listening, bitch? Yes, Rainy. I feel society is selfish. I can't receive food stamps. I don't receive food stamps. Well, the pandemic has been great to all of us. It's been great to all of us. Fuck y'all talking about. But that soon shall end. It should end in February. <laughs> but that's a whole nother subject. I should not catch a headache about it. I'll figure it out, bitch. I'll figure it out. Now, let's talk about food stamps and assistance from the government alone. A bitch that work. <laughs> she is struggling, bitch. That bitch is struggling because they ain't trying to do shit for her. Let's talk about your elderly who has contributed to society, who has now retired. <laughs> Whether they own their home or they don't own their home. The government is not willing to do much to help them. They don't get them same benefits, food stamps, you know. They still have to pay for what? Is it Medicaid A or B or something like that? Why? Because we're fucking selfish. We're selfish. They are the most vulnerable, right along with the baby. I speak about it. Bitch, my food stamp videos did good. I speak about it. Listen. I don't know what you want me to be, but I ain't that. I ain't that. The selfishness of society is all on my platform. I speak about it. <laughs> oh, you dumb bitch. I don't know if I, I that's your projection of me. You're absolutely fucking whatever you want to be, shorty. Because it ain't what it is. YouTube is not my hustle. R.I.P. shirts. <laughs> whether it's sublimation. Whether it's vinyl. Whether it's a printable. That's my hustle. Sublimating the mug. Making a keychain. 
You know, little tedious, dumb shit like that. You know? From time to time, like Valentine's Day is coming, I will make some shea butter. Also, I know, not the sugar scrub you make. Not the sugar scrub you make. But you know, the fluffy kind, the other one. You know, just, just to go with the Valentine's Day basket. Listen, bitch, this ain't my hustle. We ain't the same. We ain't the same. And we ain't on the same level out here. And I ain't trying to compete with you, baby. I'll be all of that. But I ain't you. Why don't you tell us why society is selfish? Why don't you do a vlog about that? Help us understand. Help us understand why you say society is selfish. What the fuck has society done to you? Rainy, society has done a lot to me. Society has broken my heart a lot. I don't even know where to begin. Let me begin with being human. Being human. Now, listen. The things that go on in these schools with our babies not being protected. Rainy, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts that we now are allowing our baby to make a decision such as stunting their growth. You know, not giving thought to their future. Um, they're able to receive medication to stop hormones and stuff at such young ages where they don't even really have a full thought process. Things are being done out here to harm our babies and we're accepting it. I don't, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you, but I do talk about a lot of stuff on my channel when I do videos. I know that I don't complete a thought process, whatever you say, I know all of that. But I come here just to vent about the hardness and the hardships in society as a whole. You know, um, and maybe I, but I don't carry the weight of the world on my shoulders. I come out here and I talk about it. I don't try to act like it don't exist. I'm not standing on one accord, being one. Being in solidarity when it comes to protecting our babies. Listen. Why aren't the schools as protected as the courthouse? Why are our babies still suffering in these schools? <laughs> Listen. Bitch, there's a lot going on out here in the real what world. What about them babies getting caught out here hitting that pavement trying to live that street life? Yo, that shit is hitting hard. Listen, society is selfish because somebody is hurt behind that shit. As a society, we're fucking selfish. What about how people's feelings, beliefs, and religion can get in the way of black people progressing as a whole, united? <laughs> Yo, we selfish as a motherfucker out here. Look at you, bitch. What about you being able to sit up there and talk delusional? And what ifs and her, like all that bullshit you be up there fucking doing and people not telling you shut the fuck up or letting you know. Listen, shorty, calm the fuck down. You out here spastic. That shit is selfish. Society is selfish. Aren't they part of fucking society allowing you to do this dumb shit? See, I don't live in dodo land. I don't live in dodo land. I see us. Bitch, this is us. The fuck?
And we're headed for a fucking disaster. <laughs> I talk about it, bitch. See, it also fucks with me that black people don't understand trauma. Trauma. You know, we like to sit here and project, but you projected. Your bottom of the barrel, Perry Holmes fucking life. Like Regina said, you ex-gang member, your mentality is the fucking same. Because we not the same. Your thought process vibrates low, bitch. But you project. You want the next bitch to be beneath you. I ain't out here to compete with you. I'm not out here to fucking compete with you. You're not my competition. You can't say when I place myself in competition with you. You imagine I was. Charleston White wanted to screw you and not my olive oil looking ass. Why would he even, how do, where am I at even in his, like, bitch, you're weird. Your thought process is weird. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. You can't complete a thought. You don't make sense when you talk. And you fucking ugly, bitch, like I said. And it don't have nothing to do with you being dark skinned or looking like no motherfucking monkey. You just an ugly ass bitch. Y'all know Rainy really cannot truthfully tell y'all why she has so much venom for me. So much hostility. Ooh, child, she is pissed. She really can't tell y'all why. Mm -mm. Y'all are not going to get it out of her. She's going to lie. She's going to try to distort everything. Thanks for this. Child, she can't really tell y'all with no woman actually did to her for her to be on these fucking toxic like unhealthy fucking war paths of fucking delusional shit it can't be that fucking serious didn't she do a reaction video on queen regina and what was going on with her but she's untouchable can't nobody speak on what she's out here doing? Can't nobody give their opinion about what she's out here doing? That bitches. Yeah, okay. Don't let Rainy fool y'all. There was a time she was thanking and praising me. Uh-huh. You know, when her and Queen Regina was going through that bullshit and she felt she came out on top, she was justified. <laughs> Listen. Cheryl. I just look at these low level assholes and I just be like, you know what? You welcome. Cause I'm doing you the motherfucking favor. And while you hoes just trying to talk shit about me, I know that in reality you learn it from me, but you just don't want to, you just don't want to admit it is what it is. Who, like, can somebody let her know she's in her own lane? Nobody's competition out here for her and what she has going on over there. Nobody's looking or aspiring to be like life talk with rainy or whatever else she had that's that's nobody else's if you look around nobody's doing it anyway y'all like comment and subscribe and sh i'll be back because she can't stop she's fucking <laughs> she can't stop